Hello Interwebs, welcome to Let's Fix Computers. I've got a Dell XPS 15 here uh, that has a broken DC jack. So if we just arrange things here, I'll show you what that looks like. So as you can see, we're actually missing the internal pin on the DC jack there. Um, the plastic bit is actually broken off, so yeah. So we've got to get this dude changed out. This is probably going to be fairly straightforward, um, so let's find out. Um, so we're going to kick off by taking the back panel off. So uh, let's take off all these screws and we'll be inside. There's one missing already and the rest look pretty loose. Friendly reminder, if you've got a laptop, uh, it's always worth just whizzing around the screws every now and then, um, just making sure they're tight. Because over time, they do have a habit of just coming loose and falling out. It's quite common for me to, have, to see laptops in here with very loose or missing screws. So yeah, just watch out for that. Worth checking them now and then. Okay, right, so we're in, and there's our DC jack in the corner, so we've got to unbury that. So this looks like it's going to be a very quick job, actually. I think we don't have to, this looks like the display cable coming across here. Let's uh, get in close on that bit. Right, it looks like we can just peel back this and that cable will just about hold out the way, that's fine. Then we've got the fly lead to the DC jack there. That's out. And I think we've just got to undo that hinge and we'll be able to get that dude out. So uh, let's take out these screws on the hinge there. And we've got to watch out for this display cable. I don't want to damage that. In fact, just to make sure I don't damage it, I'm just going to go ahead and disconnect it. There's no reason not to there, to be honest except for my screwdriver being really naff and not getting onto that screw properly. Where's my backup for this? There we go, that's that out of the way now. All right, so these out. Right, now we should just be able to lift this hinge up. It's gonna be super stiff because these hinges are a lot tougher than they look. By the time you've got the, um, the leverage of the screen on them, they actually need to be really stiff. So I'm just gonna use a screwdriver just to pry that guy up. There we go. And are you just gonna fall out? Okay, that should have that guy there holding him in. There we go. And there's our broken DC jack. Lovely. And here is my replacement DC jack, which I purchased from eBay. I can find out how to open it. Bam. Okay, so that's gonna go in that way up so it can screw into place. Got a toroidal ring there, which is hmm, kind of not ideal. I tell you what, I might just plug this in first, and then I can just guide it into place that way. Which way up does this go? There we go. looks fine to me. Right, let's just flip that label over so it's not getting in the way of the fan and close the hinge. Nice, and that hinge has got a nice little uh, post there to make sure that it's actually uh, located in the right alignment. And And 
and we're just gonna give these ones a bit of an extra tweak because they're hinge screws. We're going metal into metal here so I can be a little bit more vicious with these screws. We're not graunching them, we're just taking them into the bite point. Whereas when I'm screwing into plastic, I'm always a little bit gentle with laptop screws because otherwise you'll just shred them. Okay, right, that is all in place. Let's put our display cable back in. That just plugs into there. And put this little, this cap thing over the top. Whenever you see stuff like this, this is just there so there's actually a screw holding the, uh, effectively holding the plug in place. Um, I'm starting to see these things in laptops quite often. Presumably, um, they must have had enough of a, uh, enough repairs coming back in where display cables have somehow managed to pop off. Although, to be honest, even that's tight and it's still got movement on it. So, I don't know. I don't know what the deal with that is. I don't think it's particularly necessary, to be honest. But I'm sure the people who design these things get paid an awful lot more than I do. So, right, that is in place. That sits there. That is all happy. Good. All right. I think we're. I think we're done. Let's get the cover back on and check that it all works. And just in case there is a problem, I tend to just put in a couple of screws just to hold things together until I've actually tested it. And then when I can see that it works, then we'll go ahead and put the rest of the screws in. Okay, Dell charger, plugged in. And I saw, I thought I saw a light on the front then. Uh, let's try turning it on. Well, it's turning on. Let's go into BIOS when it comes on and tap an F2. And these Infinity displays are fantastic. I want one of these laptops. Same spec as a MacBook Pro, half the price, as far as I'm concerned. It's a no-brainer. However, I've got to own a MacBook in here because I fix them. All right, there we go. Primary battery, AC adapter, 65 watts. Doing exactly what it should be doing. And let's just test that again. Disconnect. AC adapter not installed. Discharging. Reconnect. 65 watt charger. Nice, we're done. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. I will see you all next time. Goodbye for now.